Hello. Hello. Th thank you, panel, <laughs> for having me. Yes, mental warfare. It's, it's very important to Dota these days. And uh, as God said this morning, you know, OG, they play Dota like an art. These other teams, Liquid, LGD, more of a science thing there. And I thought, art, art. And I went to Seb because he's so good looking. And I thought, French art. And I thought, Monet, you know? Is that what it's like? You know, French impressions connecting the human condition to landscape? And I thought, no, it's incorrect. We're in Shanghai. It's Sun Tzu, the art of war. That is OG Dota. So we have some clips here so you guys can all try and learn how you can be like OG Dota. So first off, we began in the dark ages of mental warfare. That was when there was nothing but all chat. Oh, it was a terrible time. It got tired, it got old, but then Valve, they saved us because they introduced the taunt, the taunt. Not taunting through chat, but through actual actions here, as you can see from the spirit breaker doing 360s and snorting his way out of the fountain by Jerax. Truly masterful. I mean, that, that is a, a real way to elevate the game of mental warfare. Yes. Uh, moving on. Uh, we, we had a problem, as you guys have seen, the tips, the tips, the tips. What are these things popping up all over the screen? Well, what happens is if, if you commit this amazing play, you, you tip the enemy player. Maybe you tip your teammate. Maybe they're really slain at this game. Maybe you're going to use that chat wheel that Valve also brought in there. But some of the teams figured out, wait, you can mute that? They can take it off the screen. OG, oh, coming to TI with every team muting them, they had to adapt. And every team did adapt here. So this time, we're working with Team Secret here. Now you can see, what, what's that little spray? Yeah, well, I'm sure it'll become clear in a second, but Zai is actually invis here on the Magnus. He pre-sprays the ground before popping the old skewer there on the Ninja Boogie for the kill. I mean, that is some top-tier mental warfare. Uh, you, don't, you don't come back from that. Sure, you're going to respawn. You're going to be there in the game. But the player behind the keyboard, he's, he's long gone. He's, he's out of that one. Now, the other use of the spray, of course, is to try and control your opponent. Oh, to try and control your opponent. And uh, as you can see, runs into some OG sprays. He's like, no, nah, I can't handle this. Just goes the other way. Now, more sprays. OG, EG. This perhaps the best use of a spray, the entire tournament fly. Jerax, he gives him the spray. Where are you going? That's not the way to safety. I don't know what you're trying to do here. Ring around the Rosie, all the way back. Jerax gives him the womp. He falls and dies upon the very spray he just planted. Oh, that's gross. And then even now, in the game you just watched, you have a loser spray down and a dig right on top. Thompson, he just keeps on winning, gets a player card back, and, well, they, they've also evolved past the spray. Of course, OG, you may have noticed, they've been changing their banners, profile pictures, top-tier stuff here, depending on their opponent. And versus EG, there was no choice but the famous no-tail face before a lovely block there from Jerex. Truly the, the master of the art of war.